Hello everyone. In this video I explain about basic tools and option in Blender. Let's start. If you open new Blender project you are default in user perspective view. This mean change viewport for user convenience. Here you change to X axis you get right orthographic view. OK. Let I explain clearly by import human based model. Here I import one human based model. Now default in user perspective view. Here I change to X axis this show right orthographic. Suppose I change to Y axis back orthographic view. Now I press again its Y axis its front orthographic view. Now I change to Z axis its show top orthographic view. And once again I press Z axis its show bottom orthographic view. Ok. Let we see about left toolbar. The first one is. Tweak tool. Tweak tool allows you to move objects. You can. Click and drag to create a rectangular selection box. All objects within this box will be selected. Select box. Select box tool uses for selecting multiple objects. For example. Click and drag to create a rectangular selection box. All objects within this box will be selected. Select circle. Selecting multiple objects within a circular area. Here you can select multiple face. Select lasso. This tool have flexible feature for selecting multiple objects within a freeform shape. Cursor tool. Cursor. This tool for move the cursor point anywhere in the project. Move tool. Move tool or direction tool you can move object in particular axis in X, Y, or Z axis. Rotation tool. Rotation tool nothing but rotate object any axis. Scale tool. Scale tool for resize the object for your convenience in any axis. Transform. Transform is very useful all in one tool you can move the object I particular direction or you can scale the object or you can rotate the object so simple all in one. Annotate. Annotate it just and free drawing tool. You can make outline for modeling the object or explain you are taught using tool and notate tool. Measure tool. It's a different tool you can click to measure the object. Add cube. The blender organization they add new feature called add cube in latest version. Here you can add cube simple click and draw. Not only cube cone. Sphere, Cylinder, Object Mode, is default mode it's where you can perform tasks like positioning, rotating, scaling, duplicating objects, and more. Edit Mode, to manipulate the geometry of your mesh objects like tweak vertices, edges, and faces to create intricate shapes. And you can extrude loop cut, inset, and subdivide, divide faces into smaller parts. Sculpt mode. Take you to virtual sculptors studio. Here refine your 3D models with precision. You can manipulate the vertices, edges, and faces of your mesh, adding or subtracting volume to create intricate details.
Vertex Paint is like having a digital palette at your fingertips. It lets you paint colors directly onto the vertices, points, of your mesh. Weight Paint Mode Allow you to concentrate on specific bone of pool mesh. To select a bone and paint the areas that should move with that bone. Use full strength for critical areas, like joints, and gradually blend weights for smoother deformations. Texture Painting Is where you get to channel your inner digital artist and apply vibrant hues directly onto your 3D models. View Tab now in view tab here you enable and disable all option, like toolbar, sidebar, frame selected frame all. Perspective orthographic local view viewer node cameras viewpoint play animation. Selection tab. In this selection tab all these option available for selection purpose, all. Select none box, select circle, select lasso, select select active camera, select mirror, select random, select more less, select grouped. Add tab. In the add tab mesh, curve surface metabol, text armature image light camera speaker. Make curve the object. Three D text animation and make human armature. Import reference image and do more. Object tab and this object tab for command center for your three D projects. It's where you select position and prepare your 3D objects before diving into more detailed work. Here you can transform set origin mirror clear apply duplicate objects copy objects paste objects asset collection animation rigid body quick effects show slash hide delete global space refers to the fixed x y and z axis in the entire 3D scene local space is specific to each individual object has its own x, y, and z axis based on the object's orientation. Normals are vectors perpendicular to the surface of a 3D model. Gimbal for visualizing the workings of an object's rotation mode. View transform orientation aligns the transformation axis to the current view in the 3d viewport 3d cursor also known as the pivot point is a reference point in your scene you can move it around freely parent is simply make relationship like mother and child i.e. inking objects together in a hierarchy transform pivot point Transform pivot point for location around which transformations, such as rotation, scaling, and translation, occur for objects. For better understanding pivot points is essential for precise modeling and animation. Snap tool. Snap tool precisely align objects, vertices, edges, or faces to specific positions in 3D space. It's an essential feature for accurate modeling, positioning, and animation. Proportional editing. Gentle ripple effect that smoothly deforms your mesh. Selectability and visibility. Used for whether an object can be selected or visible in the 3D viewport. Gizmos in Blender. Tools help you manipulate objects, vertices, and other elements in 3D space. Viewport Overlays 
providing visual cues and information directly within the 3D viewport. Toggly X-Ray Mode In Blender has nifty feature that allows you to see and interact with objects through other objects. Wireframe Mode To view your 3D models as wireframe meshes, it's useful for understanding the underlying geometry, topology, and edge flow of your objects. Solid Mode Simplified shading and lighting without the use of shader nodes This mode used for modeling and sculpting. Material Preview Mode In Blender uses previewing materials and painting textures. Render Display Render Preview Mode Quickly assess how your scene will look without waiting for a full render. Scene Collection this panel helps you keep everything organized by allowing you to group like objects together. And this is nothing but very useful object properties panel. This is nothing but user perspective view for user convenience. This one zoom in zoom out. This hand tool for moving 3D viewport. And this one you know very well camera view. And finally this grid tool for change perspective view to orthographic view. Okay. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe the channel. Like and share the video. I see you on another useful video. Thanks for watching. Bye.